Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on Nixus Gaming. We are here with our good old blood magic today. I was reading into the book just to get an idea of what we have to do. We finished everything in tier one that I really want to look into. So next up, we got to work on turning this thing into a tier two altar. And we're probably going to have to move it. I might get by with it here just for a little bit. But basically, we're going to want to dig out around it. And do, 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 let's go in here. Blood altars. The blood altar. For tier two, we just need to place runes, eight runes, around the altar like that. Now, the four corner ones have to be blank runes, which are made like this. And the four inner ones, they can be blank runes, but we can make them better runes to upgrade the altar a little bit. And I was looking at the blood runes, and honestly, I think for the sake of just progressing through the mod and getting plenty of blood to sacrifice, we'll just look into the runes of self-sacrifice for now. Another, th another thing that I'm going to make, but I don't know if it'll be real handy, is uh, I don't even know where it is. Ah, oh, yeah, the Dagger of Sacrifice. This will let us kill other mobs around the altar and gather blood. But at the moment, I have a ritual from um, Astral Sorcery up here that makes it to where mobs don't even spawn around here. So that doesn't do very well for us. And I think because of that, we'll just continue uh, sacrificing our own blood for it. But with that, with, 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 uh, uh, sorry, I can't speak today. Without ado, let's get crafting. We'll go ahead and pull out this stuff. Yeah, this stuff. I don't think we'll really need the arcane ashes at all. And let's look into these, these runes. We're going to need seven. We're going to need a bunch of andesite. We'll need blank slates and some blood orbs. So let's see. Let's go pick up some andesite. I believe that's what we were using. Because we should have plenty of that. Let's grab two stacks. I'm not sure how much we'll need. Uh, go ahead and get a blank slate going. We will have to wait for this, sadly. But it shouldn't be too bad. I want to at least try making one right now. Because I'm not sure if it's going to use up the... How do I... Oh, does it have to be like an empty hand? It has to be an empty hand. I'm not sure if it's going to use up my blood orb, and I really hope it doesn't. I was looking for a crafting table. I got a crafting table right here. Okay, so it was something like this. It does not use the blood orb. That is great for us, honestly. So we need to make more of these. Uh, we're going to need at least four blank slates. And then for the upgraded blood runes, we're going to do self-sacrifice. Ooh, we need to make blank runes and then use reinforced slates. How do we make reinforced slates? Um, where's slates? They should be in the getting started menu, right? I'm looking, I'm looking... Blank slates, right? Yeah, reinforced slates is just a blank slate back on the altar to make that. Which is weird. That needs tier 2, which means we'll probably have to deck this thing out first with regular uh, blank slates. But that shouldn't be too bad because then we can just pull them up and upgrade as we go. Okay, I should go ahead and right click to set that. And then do that. There we go. That should have popped a second one. Blank runes, yeah. We'll go ahead and put these down as we go. They just go around like that. And just get crafting like this. We need... I can do math. Five more. Yeah, that much. Our tank is running down. We'll have to do some sacrifices here pretty quick of ourselves. Said not enough materials, it confused me for a second. Just one at a time to upgrade. One at a time. 
three more, and then we should have a tier two, and we can work on upgrading the four inner ones. Sorry, I feel very jumpy today. I don't know why. That's why I'm jumping around a lot, I guess. Are we going to have enough andesite? Oh yeah, we got plenty of andesite here. I don't know if we have enough blood in here, though. The tank is running down pretty fast. We should have at least enough to finish this last one. And I'm not sure if it's just going to suddenly pop up as a tier 2 or how this is going to work when I put down this one. Let's see, it says tier 1. And it still says... Oh, oh no, it just popped up to tier 2. We have a tier 2 blood altar now. Let's go ahead and fill it up, shall we? Eat some food. And it is full. I think we can use this to see what the... Yeah, it holds 10,000. And it has 8,400 in it. That's, like, really good. The tier 1 could only hold, like, 5,000, right? Yeah, that's really good. Um, and our our own blood orb is still at five thousand. Okay, cool, cool stuff. So we want to get four reinforced slates, which I think is going to involve us making four blank slates and just putting them back on the altar. Let me double check the recipe just to make sure. Yeah, blank slate, two thousand life points. Reinforced slate. Uh, we can go ahead and take that out. And then the actual thing for the blood runes. Self-sacrifice. We need four of those. And we're going to need to pick up our blank runes as well. We got the four stone. Let's go get some glowstone, shall we? Uh, glowstone should be here. We'll have to break some of this. Why am I instantly breaking all this without a pickaxe? What is going on? Uh, I, I don't know why I'm instantly breaking that. That's a little weird. Huh. I have so much stuff going on at this point. It's probably happening for some reason or another. Okay, wait. Oh, that's a reinforced. Okay. I didn't realize I accidentally made one of those first. We can start making one of these. Let's pull up that. And let's see. It was these around there. I don't know if I can do it with a regular blood rune. Or regular blood orb. But I'm going to try. No, I think I might have to upgrade my blood orb first before I can do this. Okay. In that case, let's look into how to do that first. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this back down. Shows Master, Magician, Apprentice. Yeah, not a regular Blood Orb. Okay. So would that be in Soul Network? Apprentice Blood Orb. We need a block of redstone and 5,000 life points in here. Do we still have 5,000? Uh, no, we do not. We can fix that easily by just getting the knife back out. Check it again. It has 5,000 exactly. You know, I'm actually thankful that the upgraded one takes a block of redstone and not a diamond because a block of redstone is a lot cheaper than a diamond. Okay, so if I have this right, I put that there. And that is making what I need it to make. I need to look into how to transfer my soul stuff from the first blood orb to the second one. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm looking... It can be placed inside a blood altar, but that'll absorb it. 
That's not how I want to transfer. I want to transfer if I can. I mean, does that really matter? Because I'm going to bind this one to my soul network anyway. Oh, oh, there's there's not enough blood in that. That's that's losing. So if you can't make something fully with what's in there, then it will just be a complete waste and it will lose blood. So you got to be careful on that. I'm glad I caught that. Okay, so blood orb. Uh, how do I link it? When you first press right button with an item that can be bound, it will bind to you and will be labeled as being owned by you. So this should be, yeah, current owner, me. So I don't think we need that one. Yeah, we don't need that one. This is now bound to my soul network. Okay. Uh, d -d 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 now we should be able to try this again. I need to grab one of these. Let's try to pop in this upgrade. Uh, and that on bottom. We got a rune of self-sacrifice. Looky there. So what this does, I can pull up in the book just to show you. Basically, this makes it to where it will get a bonus 10% blood for every hit that I do on top of the altar. So we'll be getting a lot more blood from that, basically. Um, blank slates. I still need one more blank slate. Let's make that first. And let's just fill this thing up more as we're waiting. All right, that should be the last blank slate. Again, I need an empty hand. And we should be able to start making these into our, our reinforced slates. Let's uh, right click to set that. So it's easier. Okay. Uh, I, ooh, I don't think we can pull up one of these while it's in the middle of doing its thing. So let's go ahead and make these first. I think we'll need some more blood. <laughs> Trying to be very careful so I don't kill myself. It's nice to be able to do this though while mobs aren't attacking me. Okay, that is another one. Uh, I got so much crap in my inventory. There we go. And hopefully we'll have enough blood for this last one. I might have to do one more bit of sacrificing. That should definitely be enough. Yeah, okay. So that should be enough to put our four runes of self-sacrifice around here. Uh, let's go ahead. Not enough materials. What am I missing? Oh, duh. I know what I'm missing. That. That. And that. Now we should be able to... One, two, and three. Got all of those. Put them right back down. Now I want to... I want to see... If we... Just do one here. Let me divine it real quick. It's at 5,200. Divine it again. Uh, that's... Do I shift right click? How do I... Okay, why did that suddenly go there? Okay, current capacity, 2765. And we get hit once. 3045. So it's... Getting about 280 blood per hit. Which is really good. That should honestly fill it most of the way up if we have our health all the way filled up. We can go ahead and fill most of it up now, honestly. Yeah, it's getting up there. Okay. So now that that's done, that's what I wanted to do on the blood altar. Um, what I wanted to at least build was the, 
uh, the sacrifice dagger or whatever. Dagger of sacrifice, yeah. So I need an iron sword and 3,000 life points. I doubt I have an iron sword. I do not. We'll make one. Right here. And we'll plop this thing on the altar and get our dagger of sacrifice. Go ahead and eat up a little bit more. Oh man, man, that's like really going down. Or maybe not. I think it just glitched and the bar went down super fast there. I think there's plenty of life points in there. Let's make sure to keep eating. I'm glad I have a ring that generates a lot of mana for this thing because that's I'm basically turning mana into life points. This ring generates the mana. This stores it. This lets me eat infinitely as long as I have... Sorry, as long as I have mana here, this lets me eat infinitely. And then as long as I eat, I heal health and I turn the health into blood. We got a dagger of sacrifice. Now again, I don't think this will work unless there's actually... Unless there's actually a mob nearby, yeah. It has to stand within two blocks of the altar. But it instantly kills them and grants a decent sum of life points. Honestly, I'd assume it's probably more efficient than self-sacrifice. But, again, with that ritual from uh, Astral Sorcery right above us, there's not much I can do. And I don't want to move this away from all my normal stuff. So, we'll probably just put that away along with stuff that we won't use in this corner here. So we got the Dagger of Sacrifice. I was looking in the Get Started menu, and it mentions some potion crafting that we could also do. Uh, and I think we kind of looked into it. Alchemy flasks, uh, water breathing, regeneration, night vision... Light, which we don't need. Obsidian Cloak. All damage from non-magical sources by 20% per level. I could basically become invincible with that. And, like, my current armor. And even passive. What is passive? Prevents the affected target from attacking. Players are unaffected. Oh, so I could throw this at, like, a wither or something, and it just straight up can't attack me. That's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Of course it has the splash, lingering, all the stuff normal potions do. A flask of bounce. I'm guessing that's jump. Okay. I'm just looking at some of the different stuff we can make. What are catalysts? Simple, small power, small lengthening. Oh, you need these to make the potions. I see. Okay. I get that. Okay. Simple catalyst needs all that. Small power catalyst needs all that. And a master blood orbs orb. So I can't even do the small power. I'm nowhere near being a master yet. Uh, the small lengthening needs a master as well. Pretty much everything except for these at the end needs a master. Alter the order of the effects and refresh the contents at the cost of losing some of the effects. Okay. So you could make, say, one really good flask that has some really good effects and say you don't want to make that again you can use this and it'll refill it but it kind of gets weaker and i guess you can put multiple effects in a flask as well and use this to cycle the effects around very interesting overall though i'm gonna be honest it doesn't seem like something i'm interested in messing around with. 
I've found multiple ways to make potions through all these other mods. Um, I have Potions Master, which I haven't really done anything in. I just have some stuff collected in here. There was... Um, there was a Botania way to make potions, too. I don't even know where I have that. I probably have it stored away because I don't even use it. But, like, there's multiple ways to make potions in all of these mods, and I just don't really use any of them. Because I'm not big on potions. So, yeah, we'll skip there. Uh, is there anything else we can really upgrade in Tier 2? What are anointments? Oh, uh, we can put these on, like, tools and stuff, right? Slate-infused vial. Yeah, potions for your tools, yeah. Again, not into potions. Uh, potion flasks, that's literally what we were just looking into, right? Oh yeah, these are all the other effects. There's flight, gravity... Fall faster, take more damage on landing, kind of the opposite of flight. Uh, grounded prevents them from jumping, but you can swim. Hard cloak, three points of armor toughness per level, heavy heart. Drags them steadily downwards, making flying and swimming more difficult. That's interesting. And suspended prevents them from jumping, falling, or being affected by gravity in any way whatsoever. So basically, like... If I had that and I was running this way, I would just run over this hole here. I wouldn't fall. I wouldn't be able to jump over it. I would literally just glide across it. That's my understanding. A lot of these seem really cool to play around with in a multiplayer setting. I'll give it that. If it was multiplayer, I would probably get into it. And then it includes all the vanilla effects too, but you guys know that. I'm not going to mess with those. Uh, alchemy arrays. Living equipment. We haven't gotten into that yet. I think that's a tier 3 thing. Uh, okay. Does it say, like, what comes with each altar upgrade? That would be nice. Tier 2, blah 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 Blood runes, dagger of sacrifice... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a look at our next altar. It gets a bit more complicated, as you can tell. Uh, tch -tch 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 -tch. Do we have anything that we could possibly upgrade? No, the sentient sword can't be upgraded. Ooh, we could probably upgrade our Tartar gem, right? A common one needs an imbued slate. We don't have an imbued slate, right? No, imbued slate is tier 3, so we can't even upgrade our Tartar gem. Uh, the Hellfire Forge, it said like tier 1 on it, I think. Blood Altar, Tier 1. Alchemy Table, Tier 1. I think that just means, like, you can make it in Tier 1. You can't actually upgrade it to a Tier 2 or anything. Uh, Sigils. We could look into Sigils, maybe. Sigils are formed using an alchemy array, some form of regent, and a slate. They draw life points from your soul network, blah blah blah. Uh, air sigil throws you in the direction you're facing. Lava. Oh, it just creates a source block of lava. Okay. And it said it's the opposite of the water one. The water... Places a source block of water. Seers is an advanced form of the divination sigil. Shows the amount of life points. It also shows more information when looking at a blood altar. 
that might be our next thing. Okay. So yeah, I think I want to upgrade my divination sigil then. Which means I gotta learn how to do alchemy arrays again. I need a reinforced slate and a sight regent. I need two glass, glowstone, and my divination sigil. I throw that... What do I put that in? No, I put that actually on the array. Which I need the ashes for. So I do that, right? Let's put up the knife. Okay, this is at an alchemy table. Two glass, glowstone, and the sigil. I need glass. Okay, so we come over here. I don't think it needs to be in any order, right? I can put my blood orb there, two glass, glowstone, and the sigil. There we go. Now it's going. Uh, hopefully that's enough in my network there. I don't think it would do it if there's not enough. Okay, we got the site regent. We got the site regent, which goes in the middle. And then we need to throw a reinforced slate on it. So let's make that reinforced slate, and we should be good for this. Oh, sorry. Stop paying attention for a second. We're good. Throw that on. Uh, might do well to eat and refill this a little bit. It's almost full. Good enough, I guess. And then we just plop that on, right? And it does its thing. And we got a Seer's Sigil. So the difference with this is it shows more information on the altar there. So it shows if it's active or inactive. I don't know what the buckets is. Maybe you can bucket out blood and that'll tell you like how many full buckets you get. So I could get five from this. And I have no idea what that bottom block is. That looks like it might be a rune. Uh, how do I... These menus are a little bit confusing. I apologize. Uh, it might be a charging rune, maybe? That looks kind of green there. I don't know. I mean, other than that, I... I have no idea what that bottom block means. I could probably look into it. Maybe it says on the divination sigil page. Or the seer sigil. Uh, from top to bottom, we have the current tier. The amount of blood currently inside. The current crafting progress, if any. The life point consumption per tick. How much life points the altar will use per tick when crafting. Okay, so yeah, that's how fast it'll use it. And then current life point storage of any charging runes you may have. Okay, so I was right. Those are charging runes. Uh, charging runes basically... I guess they're just extra storage for blood, it looks like. Because they siphon life points from the altar with an internal buffer. Yeah, yeah, and then it looks like it might boost the crafting rate. Which, those might be useful if I get into anything that takes a long time to craft. Or if I were to automate any of this and need to craft a lot of stuff. But I'm not really interested in going that far with it. So, probably don't need crafting runes, or charging runes, whatever. Well, that's cool. We do have that extra information now. What other sigils are there? 
This sigil can hold up to five other sigils at a time, providing you with their passive effects and allowing you to activate them on a whim. That actually sounds really useful and might tempt me to get other sigils just to have them on me, you know? But that being said, it did... It does require an imbued slate, so we can't do that yet. We might get that next tier, though. Magnetism increases the pickup range to 7 blocks when active. Consumes life points every 5 seconds while active. Suppression obliviates all fluids in a 6 block radius. Oh, and it'll return as though it never left. That actually sounds really cool. That needs a demonic slate, though. I don't even know. Demonic slate is tier 4. Okay. Okay, I might look into that when we get there. Sigil of the Blood Lamp. Uh, da, da, da. When used, the sigil launches a blood orb in the direction you are facing. And spawns a nearly invisible light source. I'll, I'll pass on that. I got plenty of ways to light stuff up. Fast Miner. Gives you the haste potion effect. Frozen Lake. It's not implemented yet. But it's basically the Frostwalker enchantment. Green Grove. Uh, da -da, uses life points to nourish and grow nearby plants. Why does this one go into, like... Oh, it, it has more effects. You can use it basically like bone meal. And... Do, 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 I don't know if I have that installed. But you can equip it as a charm. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure I do have that installed. Okay. I don't know if I want that one. Teleposition... Teleporting around, probably a pass, and void. You can just destroy any fluid. Okay, I'd rather just walk through it with that other sigil. Okay, so we got one upgrade out of that. I'm just, I, I know, like, this is probably a little boring. But, like, I, I haven't looked into it. I'm learning this mod as I play through it, so... Movement arrays. These could be used probably as like conveyor belts of sort for like a factory process or automating. That sounds interesting. And this is basically a spike trap for mob grinders, pretty much. Uh, as I said, I'm not going to look into the living armor because that is... List it should be listed as a tier three thing. I thought. I thought I saw it tier three somewhere here. New binding regent, living armor downgrades, upgrades, living equipment basics. Uh, you need a uh, magician blood orb. So yeah, that's tier three. We can't do that yet. Where is he? I see you guys. But I don't see him. Oh well. Not worried. Uh, da, 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 so skip that. Rituals. I don't even... I think rituals are also a tier 3 thing. I think I saw this in the getting started. Yeah. Tier 3 you can have access to basic rituals and living armor. Okay. So yeah, I think our next thing is to upgrade this blood altar into tier 3, which is going to take some work. It's not going to fit how we have it right now. I'm going to have to move some things. I'll probably have to raise it up off the ground, which means I want to get rid of this blood in it before I before I pick it up. And that's just going to be do its, doing its thing there. Okay. So, 
Let's go into the blood altar page. Tier 3. Looking at how it's made. Maybe I should plan ahead. I should probably plan ahead with how I'm building this. Tier 5 doesn't do anything, but I would like to build it. I'm just trying to look at how it works. Like the height I would need to put the actual blood altar at. So that would be ground level. 1 up, 2 up, 3 up. Blood altar would be the 4th block up from the ground. Okay. And it's 1 space, 2 space, 3 space, 4. In the middle is the 5th block. So 5 to the middle, 4 up this it's still taking all the blood out of there i don't think it'll it would fit in my tower how the tower currently is i'll have to make modifications to get it to fit in there but we can definitely plan ahead that way we don't have to move it every time okay let's uh pull you out put you there Grab all of this. I accidentally broke the chest. We'll uh, put the chest there. And we'll fill this in for now. Okay. So five to the middle. Well, we're going to keep this as the middle here. We'll put the edge of it like here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the fourth block up. It'll go right there. And then we can put these back around it. That'll still serve as our first tier for it. And we can start building around that to upgrade it uh, to tier three. Okay, so one block down. It looks like we can use all upgraded bloodstones for this one, which is nice. We don't have to use um, use the blank slates. 28 total runes, 20 more than a tier 2, 5 on each side. Okay. How do we how do we want to do this? I'm going to need to fill this back up because I took all of the blood out of it. I did that because I'm pretty sure whenever I pick it up, it'll just lose everything inside it. Okay. So we need a bunch of reinforced slates. We're going to need 20, 24, because we're going to replace these when all is said and done. So 24 blank slates. Um, this is probably going to get a little bit boring for you guys, but it's basically just going to be me making a bunch of this stuff, sacrificing my own blood a lot. And yeah, pretty much that is it. So maybe maybe I'll pause here and come back when I get enough of what I need. Okay, so I realize it's a little more complicated than I thought. Uh, we don't just need 24 of the reinforced slates. We need 20 more of the blank slates so we can make the blank runes. So I have those, and I'm grabbing more andesite here. We're going to need it. And we should be good now just to craft 20 of these. Like that, we now have 20 blank runes. So now we need a lot more of the reinforced runes. So I'll be right back for that. And we're back. So I actually had to make... 20 more, 24 more of the regular blank slates and then upgrade those further into reinforced slates. So I can see how this can be 
quite a time sink of a mod and kind of grindy if you don't just have infinite food like I do. But uh, thankfully we do, and that's all that matters. All right, we have the 24 slates we need to make all these. We're going to need eight. Yeah, right, two, four, six, eight. Eight stone brick, four glowstone blocks, and we're going to need more glowstone just to do the upgrading. I think we used all we had, right? Yeah, we used all the glowstone we had. That's fine. Time to bust into the storage of essence. And let's see, is it... Eight around to make it? Yeah. Let's go ahead and make the four blocks we need. And we'll sink the rest into our runes of self-sacrifice. Make as many as we can. We are four short. What are we short on, though? Oh. We got everything we need. I think we ran out of... um. We ran out of blood life points in our network. Shouldn't this... Shouldn't this tell me how many, like, how much I have in my own network if I right-click the air, right? Or does this not work like the divination one? I mean, it does. It shows the amount of life points in the bound soul network. Uh, whoops, I uh, didn't mean to do that. It's only showing me what's in, oh, current essence, 14,435, so I should have enough. What is, what's the limiting factor here? We got the slates, we got the stone. I don't know what the... Oh, oh, duh, I know. You gotta grab these. <clears throat> I only made 20 of the blank um, blank runes because I had the other four here. There we go. Now we got 24. I'm curious. On the tier 2, it said they can't be on the corner like that. Still shows that it's a tier 2. On the tier 3, it shows like you can do the whole thing as these. So that's why I'm a little confused. Uh, should be fine though. Let's go ahead and just build up with that. It's like 5 on each side, I believe. 2, 3, 4, 5. Whoops. I feel like everything is really finicky today. We never got our stone bricks. Got those right here. Okay, it's going to look a little weird. In fact, I might just do three on each side. That way it doesn't look so weird. Get these all the way around. That was one extra. Good job. My mouse is very clicky. I don't know if you noticed. My inventory is a little different, different than when I pause. That's because... uh. My mouse decided to double click as I was sacrificing blood, and I may have accidentally killed myself doing so. Let's see, I put these down, and that should turn into a tier 3. Yeah, we got a tier 3 altar now, which is charged up with a ton of runes of self-sacrifice, so we should be able to get quite a lot of blood from this. Why does it still only show 10,000? As the, as that. I thought each one could hold more. Is that not right? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, maybe we might need like more storage. We might need to replace some of these with storage runes at some point, or something like that. I don't know, that sounds like something I am not ready for this episode. I feel like just getting the tier 3 like this is good enough, you know? But yeah, we'll probably definitely need something like storage runes around here. 
Are those the charged runes? That might be the, the charged runes that we need. Or rune of capacity. Yeah, rune of capacity is probably what we need. Uh, I don't really want to put those on unless we need them because I'd rather just have the more self-sacrifice so we can fill it up faster. I mean, as it stands, though, this thing should probably, like, fill up super fast. We can go ahead and, like, fill up our own network with what we have here. And then we can try filling it up from scratch just to see how fast it fills up. I'm really curious on that. I guess the first thing we're going to want to do is work on upgrading our our orb. So we want the magician blood orb which needs 25,000 life points. We definitely need more more storage. Uh which means some of these runes were sort of a waste of time, sadly. Oh well. 25,000 is like the max for this orb. Uh, I'm going to have to do some math to see how many I exactly need. Because each thing boosts it by 20%. Currently holds 10,000. 20% 20 of 10,000 is another 2,000. But is it going to... Is it like additive? At, at that point, will another one boost it? 20% of 12,000 or another 20% of 2,000. I might have to play around with it a little bit just to figure it out. But for now, let's just see how fast this fills up. So let's go ahead and see it. Current essence, zero. If I just do one hit, it looks like it already filled it up a good bit there from what I see. 760 life points per hit. I could easily fill this baby up now as it is. Uh, since we already know we need the runes of capacity, we can go ahead and make a couple of them and try and math that out. Capacity, capacity. We're going to need more blank runes. Three buckets per stone and... Imbued slates. We need to make imbued slates. Okay. So, imbued slates. Need 5,000 each. We can do that easily. 5,000 each. We need to have this thing completely full to make two of them, or at least to make the upgrade from reinforced to that. I think that completely overfilled it too. Which is my bad. I'm going to have to figure out how much it takes to actually fill it up. Uh, let's see. We can make some imbued slates. Put these in here. Get two regular ones. I think we can actually just leave this in here. And it should upgrade all the way. We need 16,000 total. Because it's 1,000 to turn a piece of stone into a blank slate. And then it's 2,000 to turn that blank slate into a reinforced slate, and then it's going to be another 5,000 to turn that into an imbued slate. So I am going to have to fill this thing back up a little bit. Whenever it hits about 4,000 in the tank, I can do that. But I can at least get one of these imbued in one go. I think the play here is going to be just to... Get at least two of these capacity things. That way I can accurately math out how many I need. And then just slowly make more as I imbue more slates. Just one at a time. Until I got enough and then I can make my next orb. Is that imbued? That is imbued. Imbued like a beauty. Alright, one more of these. Uh, let's go ahead and just... Fill this back up. Let's see. 750 per hit. That's going to be, well, like 13 hearts. But I already have some. Let's do 11 hearts worth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And it's full. Okay. 
Now that was with like 2,000 left over. So that's not accurate to how much I need. But I want to say it's going to be like 13 to 14 hits to fill it up right now. And of course that's going to change as I start getting rid of these to add on um, capacity runes. This is basically my understanding of the mod. We just continuously add stuff to this altar and make it bigger and better so it can do more stuff, throw in different runes for what we need. And by the end of it, we should have a pretty well decorated altar too. What's it at? Is it it's working on the imbued one right now? Do do do. Ooh, we need the blank slates too, right? Don't we need blank slates to do this as well? Um, I can, I don't know how to av navigate this, so forgive me. Yeah, we need four blank slates as well, so we'll need four blank runes. Okay, that's, that's fine. That is honestly fine. We can damage ourselves a little more here to fill this back up. That should be full, yep. And we'll just have to watch and make sure we grab these before they turn into reinforce uh, runes. Which shouldn't be too bad. It's one. Oh, got to do that and then that. I hate that you need an empty slot in order to, gr in order to grab these. All right, that's two, two more. Eat up a little bit while we're waiting on these. I think I am steadily losing mana. Well, that's fine. I can always, honestly, I'm constantly making mana in here. Most of these... I'll have to look into why that's not filling up. But, like, I'm making mana pretty fast, so... I can always just easily get more. Okay. So these are our, our four blank runes that we need. Right, there we go. Now what's the actual... We need... um, We're going to need a lot of buckets. Because it's three per. We got one here. Start using this iron, I guess. Uh, let's turn that. That's going to be three. Let's do two blocks worth. Need five of them to craft five of them in order to make six. Okay. And then any stone should do. We should be good to make these. I'm going to just set. Oh, no, no, not that. Okay, I'm going to set a new recipe. How do I... Okay, it's empty. You got to make this first. Those were on the bottom. Why did I make four of them? Why am I stupid? Whatever. These uh, went here, I think. And then just stone in the corners, right? Yeah, rune of capacity. We now have two of these, and like I said, I'm just going to set this as a third recipe for us to run through. Because we will definitely be making a good bit of those. Uh, we'll put these front and back for now. So I need to check as I do this, just to make sure. Because right now, it can hold 10,000. If I put one of those there... It's actually not going to count because this is an incomplete altar right now, technically. So I need to put that there. Now it'll pick up as a tier 3, and it should detect that. And it does 12,000, like I thought. Now, if it's just 20% of the base altar, it would do another 2,000 and boost to 14,000. If it's more than 14,000, then it takes the other capacity runes into account. 
which is really going to throw off my math, and it'll mean I'll definitely have to do this one by one, probably. Uh, 14,000. It is based on just the altar. Okay. So we need 25. The base one is 10,000, so we need 15,000 worth, which would be eight of these things. Eight of these things would put us at 26,000. So we need to make six more. Six more of these, and we should have enough to get our magician blood orb going. So let's see, six more. That's going to be six more imbued slates and four more blank runes. I guess I'll be right back when I have those. And we're back. I should have everything we need except for, of course, the buckets. We need We need a lot of buckets. We need three per and we need six so we need 18 buckets divided by no times three is 64 iron right do i have that right ah that's more than enough it'll be fine okay we do okay we already have two so yeah three times six 18 of these well let me just put here, do it that way. There we go. Oh, oh, I already had two. Why am I an idiot? It's okay. It's fine. Let me turn that back into blocks for now, even though we'll undoubtedly use them. Okay. So let's start make four of those. Right. So we got our blank runes, and we should have enough to make six of these. Yes, we have our six runes of capacity. I'm going to rearrange this a little bit just so it looks cleaner. I'm going to put them um, not... Well, they are centered on the middle, but not in the middle, you know? If we do them like this, everything should be symmetrical. And then put these back... Alright, that should give us enough capacity... That we can make this uh, this next tier of orb. 26 life points. Right. Now what do we actually need to make the next tier? Blood orb. It is a gold block. A gold block is easy, honestly. What do you take me for? Okay. Uh, we need to make sure that this thing is full before we do it. Otherwise, we're going to waste a lot of blood. Now, at this point, I have no idea how much it takes to fill it up. Uh, pretty much full health gets it halfway, which could be better. But it's not like we have the capacity to put more of the uh, self-sacrifice runes in. So this is the best we can do. All right, let's just keep eating up and filling up. Get this thing full. I guess I could have put some of the runes on the inside too. Like I could have put one here and then one there on each side and had them on different rings maybe. I don't know, I feel like that looks nice how I have it. Let's eat up a little bit more and hopefully this will be enough. It is enough. Good. Just got to throw this gold block there. And it should, after a while, do it. Now, this is where some of the other runes would come in handy. Because now we have to wait for this to fill all the way up in order to get this. But I got time. I got plenty of time to wait. Uh, and this old Apprentice Blood Orb can go in there now. We are just flying through this mod. Uh, there should be a good bit of Tier 3 stuff for us to look into next episode. And then if we have time, we'll look at building the Tier 4 one. Tier 4 is going to take a lot of runes, though. 
that is our tier four there. So we're going to need an extra seven on each side. That's a lot. That's already 28 more runes on the side. Oh, and here it is. We got our Magician Blood Orb. Go ahead and link that to us. And I don't know how, how I get this to look at mine. I had it for a second. See, that's Current Essence 22330. That's, that's me, right? That's not that. That's me. Yeah, yeah. So we have over 22,000 essence in this thing right now. And how much can it hold? How much can this one hold? Uh, let's see. Max capacity is 150,000. That is a lot. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. We got a good bit of done... Good bit of done stuff. Yeah, that's what I cannot speak today. I don't know what's going on, which is great. But we got a good bit of stuff. We're going to end it off here. Next time, we'll work on looking at that living armor and then, of course, upgrading our Tartaric gem, I think. And I'll try and do more research beforehand to see if there's anything else we can do with Tier 3. But yeah, that'll be next time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.